doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click that notification bell down there so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy every content that i upload they say experience is the best teacher so dear friends in our today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the best <laughs> online dating tips for black women so if you are on online dating apps searching for love searching for a white man searching for a black man any man of any color then this video is going to be very perfect for you but guys if you're asking yourself why is she talking about online dating apps or online dating tips it's because guys i have experience before meeting my beloved husband i passed through online dating apps and i stayed there for a while <laughs> i even met someone there very very serious but because of destiny guys we couldn't make it work <laughs> also guys i've been helping a lot of people especially ladies who are on online dating apps searching for white men for marriage and guys the results of the job that i'm doing has been very very amazing it gives me the energy to come and sit here give you the advice because every day we get new experience and, and we get to learn new things which are very, very helpful. But guys, before we jump into our today's video, we are still on a Valentine's mood. So I have my chocolates here with me. <laughs> the bachi. I've started taking them already. So we are going to continue taking some. We're going to be taking some while enjoying the video. <laughs> Oops. So guys, let us start our video right away. <laughs> Tip number one, never change your looks just because of the white man or any man of any color you met on online dating apps. I'm saying this because I know guys, men on online dating apps can sound very convincing. They can tell you very, very beautiful words that will make you daydream. I talked about this. If you know, you know. <laughs> so you sit there and start and start daydreaming. Also, you find yourself in a situation where you want to make this man happy, to please him. <laughs> but what I'm asking you, how about your own happiness? You want to change the way you look just because this man that you've been chatting to told you to change. He wants you to look in a certain way. But you should always remember if you are chatting to a guy and then a guy starts telling you, I want you to look this way. I want you to cut your hair. <laughs> I don't want a lady who has long hair. I want a lady who has short hair. But as you as a lady, you like long hair. But because you want to please this man that you have met on online dating apps, then you go ahead and cut your hair. But does that make you happy? Is it the way you want to look? If it is no, don't do it just because of this man. Because we even don't know if this man is real. We don't know if this guy is just there imagining things, fantasizing, fantasizing of having a lady who has a certain look and he is manipulating you to look like the way he wants. Don't do it. I've been always advising you to be you. Be comfortable in your own skin. Don't try to change yourself just because you want to please this white man or this man that you've been chatting to on online dating apps. That is a greatest mistake. I'm talking about this because I went through this when I was on online dating apps, story time. <laughs> so one time I was chatting to a guy, this guy was from America. <laughs> I remember very, very well. <laughs> so after we had started chatting and exchanged phone numbers, then the guy told me that he really loves a lady with dreadlocks. But guys, I'm not a dreadlocks person i don't like dreadlocks as a lady <laughs> you know we have 
choices in life so it's not something that i can go for <laughs> like a hairstyle but this guy told me i want a lady who has dreadlocks and i think you should start your journey of dreadlocks <laughs> so we continued chatting for a while and after a month guys the guy disappeared on me <laughs> He was online reading my messages but not replying it's so annoying <laughs> so now you know when i tell you just calm down don't even if men are acting very weird on you but you shouldn't give up because god knows best he knows who will be your husband <laughs> so this shouldn't make you very very sad so i passed through that the guy disappeared on me but he was telling me to grow dreadlocks so imagine if i had started growing dreadlocks and then disappeared on me and it is something that i did not like it's go for it then the man just disappears so guys never change your looks just because the man is telling you to change your looks especially these men that you meet on online dating apps be you do what makes you happy because if you are happy if you like the way you look then other people will fall in love with you tip number two never change your lifestyle just because of the white man or this man that you met on online dating apps if i talk of changing lifestyle i mean you starting to spend more because you know this white man that you've met on online dating apps sends you money maybe every month so you start wanting to live a high life that you are not earning that amount that you are spending <laughs> and you start stressing this man that you need to send me money because i have to go out with my friends i have to buy this i have to pay this to start giving this man your own responsibilities guys this is very very wrong i advised you and i am advising you to be responsible if you know you are not responsible or if you know yourself you had that mindset that if i start dating a white man my lifestyle will change <laughs> you have to be responsible take care of your own bills continue to live the life you were living before meeting this man because guys if you start stressing this man by asking him money to pay this to pay that to go out with friends to buy beautiful dresses for you this man will ask himself questions like how was this girl living before me before meeting me <laughs> so you are going to put a very bad image on yourself and you make this man lose interest in you because he will think you are irresponsible so sometimes we do things without knowing that they are wrong but guys continue to live the life you are living even if it is so hard to reach the end month due to the salary that you are earning please manage manage it if the guy sends you money without asking then that's okay but don't ask this man money and don't try to give this man your own responsibilities please my dear beautiful ladies tip number three so here we imagine you have been chatting to a white man or any man of any color on online dating apps and then this man wants to come maybe in africa to meet you or wants to invite you in his country what you shouldn't do if you're going to meet this man in your country then that day that you're going to meet this man man for the first time make sure it's an open place whereby there is other people around but not only that guys you have friends you have people that you trust in your family you can tell them where you are going and whom you are going to meet try to send a message to that person to know that you are okay because doing that you will be on the safe side because you know guys sometimes we chat with people on online dating apps think that we know them better but sometimes it turns out that we know nothing about them they are totally different people <laughs> i know i told you a story which happened to me actually i did not meet this man on online dating apps but i met him in real life and then we fixed an appointment we went to meet we talked and after talking for a while this guy started showing a lot of 
controlling behavior on me and he even took my phone by force that who are you chatting with you are with me and you're chatting with other people but actually guys i was chatting to my friend telling her that i am there and the guy is really showing some controlling behavior i want to leave so the guy got angry took my phone he told me if you want your phone then you have to follow me to my place i'll give you your phone so what i did guys i said i'm not going to follow you if you want to take my phone just take it but i'm not going to follow you because i did not know the guy guys we just met somewhere and we talked and he told me he wanted to meet me you know when you are single <laughs> and you really want to be in a serious relationship so you can see a man talks to you very nicely and you think let me give it a try who knows he might be the one so that is what i did but i was so wrong <laughs> the guy took my phone and when my friend tried to call him the guy pretended not to know me at all <laughs> because <laughs> i had given my friend his phone numbers too so guys when you go to meet a stranger make sure you talk to a friend or someone you trust in a family where you are going that also applies if you meet a white man or any man of any color on online dating apps and then wants to invite you in his country please never leave your country without telling anyone that is a very big big mistake to do make sure you tell someone that you trust most in your family or your friend where you are going the address i talked about this the address the phone number everything guys so that you can be on a safer side if something happens yes guys <laughs> tip number four if you are planning to give your goodies to a white man or any man of any color you met on online dating apps then never have unprotected sex <laughs> with this man why am i saying this it's because of the diseases second if you have unprotected sex you might get pregnant and who knows this man was just a sex tourist and then you got pregnant for him then he abandons you because not all white men i told you takes care of their kids not all some abandon them i know a girl who was abandoned by a white man and to make matters worse this white man convinced the girl to get pregnant for him he told the girl that i want kids with you our kids are going to be very very beautiful cute cute babies so i would want you to get pregnant for me the girl never wanted to have a baby and in the end he abandoned this girl even last time we were talking this girl was telling me can you imagine i called him to tell him about sending the child support the guy was like you either give me that kid or go die with covid but i'm not going to send you any child support so the guy has abandoned this kid in africa that is why i'm telling you guys no matter how this white man or this man sounds convincing to you telling you that he he wants kids with you don't do it let him do things right but meeting for the first time and then you go ahead have unprotected sex you get pregnant the guy abandons you he returns in his country and block you and being a single mother not by choice it is very very difficult guys and unfair to that kid so it's better have protected sex if you want to give your goodies to this white man or this man that you met on online dating apps tip number five i've been singing of this but i'm going to continue singing about it until you get to understand me guys never do online sex with a man or a white man you met on online dating apps no 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 there is a way that you can dress yourself a very sexy way that will drive this man crazy without you getting naked without you doing these online sex things because guys if you're doing this online sex thing with this guy you met on online dating apps you'll never find out if this guy really loves you when he calls you you will never get to understand if this guy is missing you or he is calling you just because he wants to do online 
takes with you because I told you guys some men on online dating sites can be very very curious some are married but they want to do new things that they have never done including online sex so he might be telling you very beautiful words convince you to do online sex no matter how hot <laughs> hot hot you are <laughs> don't do online sex please because some men can even record you and sell these private videos that you do to people. Then you find yourself on the internet all around the world. It can even put you in a very, very bad, bad situation. So I tell you, I advise you as a sister who loves you so much, tell this man to do things right, which is getting to know you better, engaging you and marry you so that you can be together and do these things physically, not online, please. <laughs> Tip number six, I know guys, I know online dating is not easy. Being on online dating apps can be very stressful and frustrating, I know. But what I'm advising you as a sister who loves you so much, please, please never feel like it's your fault that you are not finding anyone on online dating apps. If you are not desperate, if you have never asked men money on online dating apps, you have done everything as it is supposed to be done and you are not finding anyone yet, don't worry don't feel that it's your fault not at all i told you before you meet the one you will have to go through a lot of challenges that is meeting a serious man men who will tell you very weird things <laughs> yes you will have to go through that most people who have found love on online dating apps have gone through that so don't feel like it's your fault not at all but it's a process <laughs> it's the process before you find the one so don't give up keep searching i told you if you feel that a man is not serious you just delete him and move to the next <laughs> chat with men who are serious men who are on online dating apps to search for love to search for a wife not a man who is on online dating apps there to pass time <laughs> wanna play games but he is not serious that one just delete him move to the next who is looking for a wife <laughs> number seven never delete your profile or your account on a dating site just because you have been chatting to a man for a day <laughs> only a day guys he's telling you i am very crazily in love with you and i want you to delete that account on the dating site just be with me don't do that be clever don't delete it please what you need to do you need you guys to know each other very very well convince yourself as a lady that this man is serious and you can create a very good relationship with this man a long-term relationship and when you are sure you can delete that account but another thing i'm advising you if you are chatting to a man on online dating apps and then this man seems to be very good he cares so much about you and you feel like he might be the one then don't go on a dating site to chat with other men just concentrate on this man and see where it will take you for some time at least a month but what i mean here guys is if this man seems to be a good man then concentrate with only him don't delete your online dating app account yet not at all but when you are sure then you can delete it he doesn't have to force you to delete your account that is not love he is trying to control you <laughs> so you should take matters in your hands guys when a man tells you to delete your account after chatting for a day don't be like oh my god i've met the one he is the one he is serious he wants me to delete my account and he has deleted his no that is not love that doesn't mean that the guy is real he is trying to control you and if you delete your account he is gonna stay online and maybe using another account 
chatting to other ladies but he told you to delete it after two weeks he will disappear on you so you will have to go and create again another account no need to do that guys be the one to make your own decisions before you are sure if this man is serious or not so when i was ending the video sophie told me i want to say hello ciao like the video mandam bacho bacho mama sophie Oh my god, this girl! Rosetto! Rosetto! Lipstick! <laughs> Tip number eight, we imagine God has been on your side. You have met the one on online dating apps and then this man invites you in his country and let's imagine it's a white man. <laughs> so you travel, arrive in his country, after arriving he tells you give me your passport or maybe his mother or his father tells you to give them your passport please if you find yourself in a such a situation don't give them your passport you have to stay with your passport no matter what reason they will give you don't give out your passport because that is your identity because you know when we fall in love we are so blinded <laughs> by love we do things that later on when we start thinking about them when bad things happen to us then we tell ourselves that i am so stupid why did i do that <laughs> or you'll find a friend telling you really you did that why that's so strange <laughs> that is not you i cannot imagine you accepted that <laughs> It's because of love. So please, dear friends, don't be blinded by love. When you are in a foreign country, your passport is everything. You have to hide it somewhere that you will always remember it. If it is working with that passport every day, walk with it, but don't give it to anyone anyone guys <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope these were the best online dating tips for black women i hope if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good <laughs> subscribe please if you haven't comment below what you think about this video until next time i love you so much guys you're always here in the channel